Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Lately, I've had quite a few questions here on YouTube and on my Discord about making floor plans and blueprints for building, so I thought I'd run you guys through how I do it. Blueprints and floor plans are a great way to plan out and prototype your build before you ever place down a single tile. This guide is made with Conan Exiles in mind, though realistically, it works perfectly, if not slightly better for other games with the same building system, mainly titles like Rust and Ark. Today I'll be showing you two methods of making blueprints, so without further ado, let's get started. The first method I'll be showing you is my preferred one, using a program called Fortify. You can get this game from Steam for £1.50 in the UK, probably about $2 US. It's a base designing game developed for use in Rust, though it shares the same building systems with Conan and Ark pretty much identically. I've used Fortify for a while now, and it's reliable in planning out Conan builds. Seeing as Fortify is built for Rust, it does have the capability to simulate stability, as well as allow you to place various building pieces and such from Rust, but that won't always 100% apply if you're building for Conan or Ark, so I just use it for the floor planning feature of the foundations. You're able to build and adjust on the fly. The game includes different terrain options, the ability to leave notes for yourself or others, planning stages, time-lapse construction, cloud saves, and even the ability to work on a project with up to three people. It also has Steam Workshop integration, so you can check out loads of other people's creations, some of which are really, really good. So once I've done the base plate, I then turn off the UI with the photo tool in the top left and take a screenshot directly above, and then I bring that screenshot into GIMP, which is basically just a free, open source version of Photoshop. From there, I use the free select tool to cut around the edge of the base plate to remove the grass. You don't have to do this of course, but it is a much cleaner option if you're putting the blueprint in a video, for example. You can try and use the fuzzy select or the colour select tool to limited success, but I find the free select tool just works best. From there, I invert the selection, add an alpha layer and then delete the background, leaving only the base plate. I'll then desaturate it and adjust the curves to make the floor plan a stark white. I then usually add another layer above the floor plan, hit alpha to selection on the floor plan layer, and I draw lines onto the base plate following the faint lines you can already see. This is a bit finicky, especially if you're building something large, but it's the best method in my opinion. You can use tools like edge detection, but I find it often leaves weird artifacting or tonal fringing in certain areas, which muddies the blueprint a bit. Might not be too much of an issue for you, but I like the smaller details, so it is kind of an issue for me. Though this is a longer process, it produces much nicer results. When I finish drawing the lines onto the floor plan, I'll then create a layer underneath the floor plan, grow the area by about 5 pixels and add a black underlayer to improve visibility. From there, you can also then drop the opacity of the lines layer and draw another set of full opacity lines on a new layer to draw out the room layout, though I don't do this all the time. Overall, Fortify is a great option for creating blueprints. It provides the same building system as Conan, Ark, and Rust, and its simple yet flexible functionality make it really easy to use, especially if you're building or planning as a team. The only two downsides are, firstly, it's not designed for Ark or Conan. Just because it will work quite well for them doesn't mean that everything will work perfectly, so you may see some limited utility at the top end of the features. The other downside is, of course, it's not free. Fortify does cost about $2, so not too much, but if you really don't want to spend any money, Fortify isn't the free option you're looking for. However, the second option is indeed free, so let's have a look at that now. If you head over to mathlearningcenter.org, click apps on the top bar and scroll down, you will find the Pattern Shapes web app. Now, this is designed for teaching and learning geometry, fractions, and counting. However, it can also be used to plan out builds. Now, don't get me wrong, it's nowhere near as precise and easy to use as Fortify, and of course there is no scalable functionality if you're trying to plan out an entire build, not just a blueprint. But it does provide a free alternative that will work. You can use the shapes available on the left hand side, of course the square and the triangle, to draw out a base plate, and there is a limited but still present degree of snapping, so though you do have to be precise with this app, it does have a little bit of leeway. The obvious downside at first is obviously the colour of the shapes, though I do believe you can change them, I'm not 100%. I checked this app out a while ago before I got Fortify, tried it once, and never again. For me it was a bit too fiddly and convoluted to be an option I'd consistently use for producing blueprints, but again, if you're looking for a free option, it can work. 
Once I've completed the base plate, I'll take it through roughly the same process as the previous one. Using Gyarzo or any screenshot function you have available, take a picture of the base plate, copy it and paste it into GIMP or your chosen editing software. From there, add an alpha layer and remove the white background, and then desaturate and adjust the curves to make the floor plan white. You can then add in the lines over the top of the floor plan to create better definition between the blocks, and of course add a black backing to the image. This is an option that will work alright, you'll definitely be able to create a blueprint from it, but overall I would still recommend Fortify over Math Learning Center's Pattern Shapes app, for both ease of use and the more adaptable and well-rounded nature of Fortify. The final option you have is to hand draw your blueprints. I would pretty much never recommend this, so I've done this once and never again. It takes much longer than Fortify or Pattern Shapes, it's way less precise, and the mistakes will take much longer to fix. Realistically, if you want to make accurate blueprints quickly, Fortify is the best option in my opinion. The roughly $2 investment is worth it. Now that you know how to make your own blueprints for Conan, Ark or Rust, you can quite easily share build plans with your friends. I hope you guys have found this helpful, a lot of people over the years have asked me how to make blueprints and floor plans, a lot of people really enjoy sharing their builds with others. I wholeheartedly believe that Fortify is the best option, though hopefully regardless of which option you guys choose, you'll be able to create some wonderful build blueprints in the future. If you enjoy my content, all the links to my Twitch, Twitter, Discord, Patreon, Host Havoc affiliate page, NordVPN discount and NordPass discount are available in the description below. However, of course, you can simply just leave a like, a comment or subscribe, any of those are very greatly appreciated. Patrons get a bunch of nice benefits including sneak peeks of videos, your name in every video, custom made wallpapers in 1080p and 4k resolutions, full size build blueprints, discord roles and more. On that note, a massive thanks to our patrons Sadialot, Randar, Connor, Ivy, Torn, Ill-Fated, CoffeeMan04, Alfric, and Eagle Rose. As always, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon.